Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss example 5a. Find the value of x for the following equations. So given that 5 to the power of 2x plus 1 equals to 6 multiplied with 5x minus 1. So what I'm going to do is by using the substitution methods. So now I'm going to simplify the situation. So 5 to the power of 2x multiply with 5 to the power of 1 equals to 6 bracket 5 to the power of x minus 1. So in here, we can see 5 to the power of 1 is equal to 5 and 5 to the power of x bracket square minus 6 bracket 5 to the power of x plus 1 equals to 0. We can let y equals to 5 to the power of x and we will have 5y squared minus 6y plus 1. It's a quadratic equation. So next step, we are going to factorize the situation. So we will have 5y minus 1 bracket y minus 1 equals to 0. y will be equals to 1 over 5 y will be equals to 1. As we all know, we already let y become 5 to the power of x. So in here, we can compare 5 to the power of x is equals to 5 to the power of negative 1. For the right-hand side, 5 to the power of x is equals to 5 to the power of 0. So from here, we can compare the indices. So x will be equals to negative 1. x will be equals to 0. Next, I'm going to discuss example 5b. So, I'm going to simplify the situation, which is base 2. 2 to the power of 2, bracket, we have power x plus 1, minus 5, 2 to the power of x plus 1 equals to 0. So, I'm going to expand by using the rules or for indices. So, 2 to the power of 2x multiply with 2 to the power of 2 minus 5 bracket 2 to the power of x plus 1 equals to 0. So I'm going to rewrite again the situation. So we will have 4 bracket 2 to the power of x bracket square minus 5 bracket 2 to the power of x plus 1 equals to 0. Next, I'm going to let y equals to 2x. So we will have 4y squared minus 5y plus 1 equals to 0. Next, I'm going to factorize the situation. 4y minus 1 bracket y minus 1 equals to 0. As we all know, y is equals to 2x. So 2 to the power of x equals to 1 over 4. Another one, 2 to the power of x equals to 1. And we can compare the base. 2 to the power of x is equals to 2 to the power of negative 2. So we can say x equals to negative 2. Next will be 2 to the power of x is equals to 2 to the power of 0. So finally, x will be equals to 0. So here we are, and thanks for watching.